fire in the hole. Let's make some Cajun crab stuffed potatoes. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, so what I got is some uh, nice size Idaho potatoes that we're going to stuff. And what you want to do is take a fork and just stick them with a fork here and there and everywhere. Wash them down first. I'm sorry, I should have said wash them first. And uh, stick them with a fork. Slather them with some uh, Sang stir fry oil, which is the best, absolutely the best. It gives you a beautiful garlic and onion and uh, cilantro flavor to your potatoes. You can use extra virgin olive oil. I use Sang's for everything, absolutely everything. And we're going to wrap them up in foil, like I said, and I've got some already done here. We're going to put them on the grill 400 degrees for one hour, and then we'll come back and we'll cool them off and we'll make this uh, stuffing. So please stay tuned. Okay, so my potatoes are cooked and they're somewhat cooled off. I'm going to start scooping out the potato like so. Cut around the top of it with a knife and scoop out the meat. Thank you helicopter for wrecking my video. Just like that. And we're going to get some of that out of there and get it in this bowl. Set this one aside. Do another one. Show you how it's done. We're going to take the knife and cut around the top of it like this. The potatoes are still a little warm, but they're not, uh, it's not excruciating pain. But anyway, uh, I'm going to peel the skin off it. I don't care for that skin. I might eat the skin, you know, if it was in a potato skin. But anyway, I'm going to scoop out that potato, get it in the bowl, scoop out my potato boat that I'm making, kind of a boat that we're going to stuff with potato. I'm going to set that aside. Get our bowl ready. I'm going to mash up some of this potato mixture. And into that we're going to add some stuff. What's the first thing we're going to put in there after we get it mashed up a little bit? There you go. We want to get this a little bit smoother than that so we can stuff those potatoes with a kind of a smooth creamy mixture. The first thing we're going to throw is some bacon. Bacon baby! Bacon makes the world go round. So put some bacon in your potato. This is after all a stuffed loaded potato. We get that in there. Next thing we're going to put is some half and half. The recipe, the original recipe calls for a quarter cup of milk and a quarter cup of cream. So I figure why not put a half a cup of half and half. It's same same thing, same difference, right? So we'll get that in there, get that mixed up, get this mixture kind of creamy. There we go. Now we're looking like something. And we also need a little bit of mayonnaise, about a tablespoon of mayonnaise. Just for the fun of it. There you go. Some mayonnaise. Get that in there. Whoa, yeah. Now we're talking, see? Now it's starting to look like something. Now we need to season it up a little bit. And uh, we're going to throw some cheese in there too. That's looking good, doesn't it? Okay, let's put some, uh, I got some Paul Perdomes. Uh, this happens to be seafood, black and red fish magic, which is my favorite Cajun seasoning. And uh, I'm going to put about a tablespoon of that in there. Because I like that. I like that black and red fish magic. That's my favorite blackening spice. It's my favorite go-to uh, Cajun spice. We're going to put a little bit of uh, smoked paprika in there. About a teaspoon of smoked paprika to give it a little bit of color. We're going to put a little bit of garlic powder to give it a little more flavor. A Cajun flavor, about a tablespoon of garlic powder. And for some more Cajun flavor, a tablespoon of onion powder. There we go. And we're going to mix that all up. Get that going. It's looking good now, baby. Look at that. How's that look? Woohoo! Starting to get take on a kind of a Cajun coloring, isn't it? Well, that's kind of a That's exactly what we want, isn't it? Kind of a Cajun flavor to that. You got bacon, potato, all the spices. And we need one more thing. What do we need? We need a cup of cheese. Oh, 
forgot the crab meat. Stay tuned, I gotta go get the crab meat. Be right back. Okay, I almost forgot the most important thing. Six ounces of lump crab meat. That's what this recipe is all about. Crab meat. And you want that crab meat in there. You want to get that folded in there. Oh, man. And that uh, those potatoes are still kind of warm. And that's going to uh, actually cook that crab meat. So you don't have to worry about cooking it. We are going to put it back on the grill just to... Uh, get the cheese melty because we're going to put about a cup of cheddar sharp cheddar cheese in there so about a cup of sharp cheddar cheese we're going to save some and reserve some to put on top of the potatoes and we'll put that back on the grill and get them all melty we'll mix that cheese up in there with that crab meat and that potato and those Cajun flavors Cajun spices get that all going How's that look? Not bad. Not too shabby, I'd say. Cajun stuffed crab. Potato stuffed crab. Cajun crab stuffed potatoes. Get it right. Okay. All right. That's our mixture right there. Now all we got to do is get our potato back. Get a potato back over here and spoon some of that in there. And I don't know if I said it yet, but this would make an excellent side dish as well as a main dish. I'm serving it tonight as a main dish because uh, this is really all you need right here. That's a whole dinner right there. That Cajun crab meat, the uh, cheese and potato. We're going to mound that up good on there. Get that really mounded up like that. See that? How's that look? Not bad, huh? Okay. I'm going to get these all done and I'm going to put a little bit more cheese on top. Can you see that okay? Yeah. And then I'm going to put them back on the grill and let them get a little, get, let that cheese get a little melty. Cook that crab a bit. I don't want to waste none of that. That's too good to waste. And uh, then we're going to drink a beer. So stay tuned. Okay, so my stuffed potatoes are back on the grill and my potato has got a little bit of uh, cayenne pepper on it but on the rest of them for the wimpy mouse in my family we're just gonna put a little smoked paprika on theirs hope I can uh, figure out which ones which or else they're gonna get a mouthful of cayenne pepper and I'm gonna get nothing but some smoked paprika we're gonna put a little bit of smoked paprika on those three then I'm gonna put some more cheddar cheese on top more of that cheddar I'm gonna mound it up on top of there get that all melty look at that don't forget that one's mine Troy I gotta take a taste of that one along with the cayenne pepper get some of that cheddar cheese on top of there yeah look at that how's that look can you see that can you smell that oh boy is that incredible it's amazing there's nothing like melted cheese and sharp cheddar is the best so how's that look? Not too shabby, huh? Okay, let me go get a beer. And we'll come back and finish this fiasco of a video. I get my uh, cheese all melty on there. Get my workstation cleaned up a little bit. Drink a beer. It'll be time to tasting of the potato, Troy. I know you're looking forward to that. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, there's what you've all been waiting for, all but you roll. This is, uh, today's beer is... Bare Ass Blonde comes to us, it's Duclaw Brewing Company, Maryland, comes to us all the way from Maryland, thanks to Jimmy Nelson, my Facebook buddy, who sent me this beer, Bare Ass Blonde Ale. You think we're going to like it? I believe we are. Bare Ass Blonde, better put the cover on that. Okay, let's get this open, get it poured out, oh yeah. Who doesn't like a bare ass blonde? I know I would. Be way better than what I got, I'll tell you. I guess I shouldn't have said that, but it's true. Okay, here you go. Bare ass blonde is a blonde ale from the Duclaw Brewing Company in Maryland. And it says Old Blonde something something. I don't know. I can't read it. Anyway, sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Not much head on that. Let's take a sniff. 
it smells good. It smells like a, a blonde ale, like it should. Let's take a take a quaff. Mmm. Ah, that is excellent, Jimmy. You've outdone yourself the second time. The first one was a sawtooth, uh, Duclaw sawtooth, and this one was the blonde ale. That's really good. Be uh, bare ass blonde. Bare ass blonde? Yeah, bare ass blonde ale. Very nice, very nice blonde ale. All right, let's peek in on our uh, potatoes, see how they're doing, and finish up this video with a taste for Troy. Stand by, Troy. Okay, my potatoes are done. And this one here is the one with the uh, cayenne pepper on it. And I, I garnished them with a little bit of uh, what they call spring onions. Some people call them spring onions. Some people call them green onions. I call them whatever. They won't stay on there. That cheese is all melty on there. Let's take a taste of that, Troy. What do you think? Look at that, Troy. What do you think? Does that look good? Put that in my mouth. Oh my god. That is delicious. And you know what? I feel sorry for the people who aren't having cayenne pepper with theirs. That cayenne pepper really sets it off. So anyway, that's my video for today. I'm enjoying this uh, bare-ass blonde beer, that is. If I had a bare-ass blonde, I would enjoy her too. But uh, anyway... Uh, like I always say, uh, if you like this crap, <clears throat> oh man, the cayenne pepper is perfect in that. If you like this crap, please subscribe. If you don't, I want you to go visit a new channel this week. It's a guy named Russ Helm, and his new channel is Smokes Are Rolling. He's just getting started in the barbecue video biz, and his, his videos are going to improve with age. He's going to get better at it. Uh, right now he's doing some incredible stuff. So go over and see Russ Helm at Smokes Are Rolling. And don't forget to subscribe to Root Boy Cooks. That's me. And I might cook something good next week. But no matter what happens, I'll drink a good beer, I promise you. I guarantee you. And this is a good beer. Ah, thanks again to Jimmy Nelson. I can feel my voice getting better with this beer. Uh, thanks again, Jimmy Nelson, for the excellent beer. And uh, thanks to everybody for watching. Thanks for everybody who subscribes. We'll see you all next week with a new beer and some kind of food. Maybe something good. You never know. All right, babies. Check you later.